What is up everyone? Welcome to another video of Genshin Impact. Today is the day when we pull for that Geo dude and do like a first impression preview. All right. So right now in here, they're going to debate you to pull for this banner. Do you know why? Because for you guys, it probably looks like a Bennett banner instead of Albedo banner. So it's always great as an F2P player. You should be pulling for this banner if you want those four star heroes. Yes. Anyways, before anything, let's try to get Albedo first. Okay, here we go. Let's get started. As usual, we never get lucky. Oh, there is Bennett. Let's go. And a four star Rust. For those of you who has child as an F2P, you probably would be wanting this Rust so much. At the end of this video, I'm gonna give you an important announcement about what I'm gonna do for the channel and for my viewers, subscribers, and my supporters. So let's continue pulling for Albedo. Let's go. All right, that is special. All right, all right. Are we gonna hit the pity? And another official. And this is about time. Oh, it's not the time yet. Albedo, please. Ah, oh, dude, I am gonna hit the pity. All right, that's okay. I can't hit the pity. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. I am very angry. I am very angry. Because I wanted Albedo. Alright? I wanted Albedo. I didn't want anything else. It means I'm gonna have to hit another pity. Alright, let's get lucky this time. Let's get lucky this time. We see gold. That is gonna be Albedo. Okay. Anyone counting? How many summons did I did? Did I do after that? Is this like 50th? This has to be Albedo. Watch. Nope. <laughs> no! All right. I am very angry. I am very angry. Albedo, please. Okay, that's Albedo. I don't even need to check. And there is our boy, Albedo. All right. So, shall we get started on the preview? Seems nice. Seems nice. Um, here's Albedo. Nice. Let's take a look at his talents. His normal attacks. Hmm, multiplier. That is much worse than Kea. This is at level 1, and his multiplier is like 53 already. Okay, so plunge attack wise, it's the same. Who has the highest multiplier for his auto? Let's take a look at his attack speed. That is about the same as Keqing's attack speed. For the comparison, we can see the difference. Slightly slower, but I would say that's pretty fast. We're gonna compare the attack speed between Albedo and Kia. Albedo attacks a little faster. And let's take a look at his elevator, right? It's interesting. He's got the defense multiplier, okay? Transient Blossom damage is 134% defense. Duration is 30 seconds. Cooldown is 4 seconds. Skill damage, 130%, okay? And his Q damage is 367%. In the beginning, that means this is gonna be a burst damage as well. Okay, really, really interesting. So, my first impression, he's gonna do some burst damage. But since it's Geo, it's not gonna be that much. Unless 1.3 patch kicks in. Yes. So, fourth talent. It says, Transient Blossoms generated by his E deals 25% more damage to opponents whose HP is below 50%. Okay, interesting. And his fifth talent says using Q increases the element of mastery of nearby party members by 125 for 10 seconds okay so if he uses Q he increases the EM of the party members by 125 all right okay so that's gonna enable other characters to do more damage for elemental reactions 
And shall we kind of talk about his constellation? Transient Blossoms generated by Albedo's E regenerates 1.2 energy for Albedo. Uh, is that great? 1.2 energy? Probably because his Q energy cost is 40. Although it may look very small, it's good. It's gonna make a lot of change. Let's move on to the second constellation. It says Transient Blossoms generated by uh, his E grants Albedo Fatal Reckoning for 30 seconds. Each attack of Fatal Reckoning increases damage by 30% of Albedo's defense. The effect stacks up to 4 times. Unleashing Q consumes all stacks of Fatal Reckoning, increasing the damage dealt by the Tectonic Tide and Fatal Blossoms based on number of stacks consumed. So if you get him to C2, it looks like he's gonna do a lot more damage. But if you take a look at it, it says increases damage by 30% of Albedo's defense, and that stacks up to 4 times. And if you have C2, you, you would probably have to go for defense. Kind of like Noel, right? Anyways. Solar Isotoma increases plunging attack damage by 30% for active party members within the AoE. This is a little weird. It's not like people are gonna go and do a lot of plunging attacks, but this constellation is kind of suggest you how to play the game. Like you get on his elevator and then you start doing plunging attacks. I see, I see. And the last constellation, it says, If active party members within the AoE are protected by a shield created by a crystallized, Solar Isotoma increases their damage by 17%. Okay, so C6 is gonna make him better support, of course. And let's take a look at his artifacts. We are gonna build him like how I built Zhongli first. And then let's see if we need to build him like Noel, okay? All right. Let's give him the weapon, and I'm planning to give him the the black sword for now. Yeah. So, his build looks nice right now. He's gonna have 61% crit rate, 172% crit damage, and at level one he has 1,200 attack. <laughs> I see, I see. Let's get him to level 60, 70 at least. Let's ascend him. Alright, and then he gets a uh, Geo Damage bonus for his Ascension, yes. That is gonna be really good. I just wish that Albedo is gonna be a little more aggressive, yes? Okay, so before we get started, I don't wanna drag this on too long, but it's almost Christmas. And early Merry Christmas to y'all. And I've got an announcement. I wouldn't exist without you guys. And I got a campaign. And I should be able to do some big giveaways. I am thinking the videos will be uploaded probably next year, like early January. But then in each video of the promo videos, I'm going to be doing total of $300 giveaway. I'll pick out three people. I'll give out $100 each if I meet the conditions. So for those of you who's just sticking around just to see, you know, how's Albedo, you know, I hope you guys can give me some support. Give me a sub if you can. And the only, only, like those kind of events are only for subscribers. So keep that in mind. So it's, it's better to just kind of sub right now, yeah? And I'm going to be uploading three videos. So that's a total of $900 giveaway in January. So I'll let you know the details. But I want you to right now subscribe to my channel. Leave a like on this video. And set your alarm to all if you want to participate into that event. Because you will not be notified if you didn't turn that on. Okay? If you didn't turn it on, then you wouldn't be notified. That means you're not going to get the chance to win the giveaway. Alright? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, so let's go ahead and fight against these monsters. Keep that in mind that my world level is eight, all right? So even if I do less damage, you don't have to be like, yo, that's weak, okay? Let's do comparisons. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that, no. Okay, not so, oh, I just killed myself. <laughs> okay, my bad. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for trolling. Okay, <laughs> okay, I use E. Not so bad of a damage for... Wait. When enemies within the solar isotoma field takes the damage, the solar isotoma will generate transient blossoms, which deals AoE geo damage. Damage dealt scales off of Albedo's defense. So that means, when I use E and there's like a range, right? And if I attack the enemy, then they take the AoE geo damage. Is that right? That's how I understand it. Okay, let's, let's attack them. Oh, you see this? You, you see this? That's interesting. That's really interesting. Like, I use E, and then I switch to a different character. 
and then I attack, right? And this geo damage thing appears so that I do extra damage. This is what I would call a a proper proper support. Okay, right now I think this is this meets the meta right now. Do you know what I mean? But one bad thing about this thing, like for me, because I suck at playing Genshin, I have to use elemental reactions, especially Melt and Vaporize. But if I use Albedo like this, then my element damage that I do to the opponents will be converted into a freaking shield, okay? So right now, before building, what I can tell you is Albedo will help you do more damage and this will be very effective when your world level is low. But as you get higher, Albedo can get in your way, but that means you should be able to actually utilize the full Alkaic Petra set. So I had no idea where to use this. For example, like for this, right? Upon obtaining an elemental shard created through a crystallized reaction, all party members gain a 35% damage bonus for that particular element, right? But then this was really hard to use even on Zhongli because when I used Zhongli to, to do this, I picked up the shard with that character. For example, I was using like Keqing, right? I was using Keqing, I was doing all those electro damage. And then because my Zhongli's was in the field, it was resonating. And then I got the electric shard, right? And then I thought this Aquatic Petra would be in effect. However, if Zhongli was using that, Zhongli needs to pick up that electro shard so that my Keqing can do more damage. So that was really, really weird. So it may sound a little crazy, but I think uh, you can pretty much go for full Alkaic Petra set team. And if that's the case, if you use Albedo, you should be able to pick up a shard really well and you're going to get that damage bonus. Yeah, that's just my suggestion, but I would not do it. I'm just saying. Anyways, here's the thing. If it's just a full support, then I would suggest you to go for a set like Noel. Let's use his Q. Ooh, 10k? What? Wow, we wow. Did you guys see that? Alright, he's gonna be level 60. Alright, I'm getting his fifth talent. So, anyways, his Q is gonna increase 125 elemental mastery of the party members. So. That's still weird because he's Geo. So burst damage goes up by 30%. 514. Yeah, we got his Q to level 6. Anyways, let's go. Let's enjoy our albedo and his Q. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> wait, <laughs> I was expecting a lot more damage because his Q doesn't do a lot of damage. 514%. Level 90 sword then. Yeah? If anything, we can also use Aquila Favonia. Okay, we can try Scour Blade first. The whole reason why I didn't build him as a defense is because of course, of course, if you look at his talents, the multiplier says 514%, and that depends on your attack. Yes? So I wanted to do uh, some limit push for those of you who wants to get a nice DPS, yes? Fourteen K. Wow, this energy recharge is crazy with Skyward Blade. And there's another Q. Fourteen K. This is a level ninety Skyward Blade, by the way. Not bad. Not as a DPS, but like the way his skill works right now and his rotation, his Q. Okay, there has to be my Q. Let's go! Oh my god. They are immune. They are immune. That's the weakness. We just found his weakness. We did it. We did it. This is level 70 out of 80. That means he's got the extra geo damage. So we can actually test his damage out in the Valen. And I kind of want to test out Aquila Favonia as well. Level 80, Aquila Favonia now. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Storm Terror, of course. And we can test him out against the Valen. Yeah? Because my Albedo is level 70 out of 80. So, let's take him to level 80. Okay? So, we're going to use the same team that I used for Zhongli as well. Aquila Favonia 
on Albedo. And his final stats looks like this with food. 53% crit rate, 156% crit damage, and 2600 attack. Let's go. Here's Q. Non crit. But. Seems like something is wrong. Seems like something is wrong. So, I don't get this. 514% elemental burst damage. If that was uh, 18k, then it would have been 45k when he critted. But. It doesn't seem like a big damage. Did I mess up? I already used E on top of Divalin. But maybe, like, you know, when you use E with Ningguang on top of Divalin, it disappears. Maybe that's why. We can try that one more time. And because he's using Aquila Favonia, I would like to use combos and then do some autos after. Okay. That's the whole reason why we want to use Aquila Favonia anyways. And I'm going to do what you guys asked me to do. I'm going to give him the Skyward Blade. And Albedo is going to be using Aquila Favonia. Okay, this time we should crit. Okay. Bing bang E. Walk through. There's E and Q. <laughs> Wait. Well, this is definitely a place where we can say that he cannot be used as a main DPS. What I don't get is 514%, but I did 23k. That didn't look like a crit. Times 2.5 equals 57k, but it's still not impressive enough. Like, I did this experiment for those of you guys who always wants to build something as a DPS. I even used Aquila Favonia, but his damage was a little underwhelming. But that's my two cents. First impression. I think it's a little too hard for you to use him as a DPS. However, his E and Q allows him to do extra attack and also with his talent. You know, if you use his Q, it's gonna give 125 elemental mastery to other team members, but this is kind of meaningless. Unless you don't use E. Okay, Albedo, E. Did you see that crystallization? That. After you put on an uh, element to the opponent, then there's gonna be Geo and Crystallization. But I noticed something. I noticed something else. I noticed something else. Guys, watch this. After you do a uh, elemental reaction with that Geo, there's a crystallization, right? But it stays on the enemy. If this is the case all the time, Albedo is good. Let me try him a little bit more in a tankier dungeon. Okay, that, that was interesting. That was very interesting. Okay, we can see that the element is still staying on these guys. Let me try to take out the weapons. Take out all my DPS weapon. So that we can see if everything is consistent or not. Okay? To, uh, I don't know, sacrificial bow. I guess we can keep Klee. Because Klee is awesome. Let's go, let's go. Okay. So, Klee. Alright. Okay, the element still stays on. That is consistent. This is consistent. Alright guys, I changed my mind. I thought theoretically it was supposed to mess up, but for some odd reason after the reaction, your non-geo element that was applied stays on to the enemy for a while. So Albedo E definitely helps you do more damage. Albedo is a good support. He's gonna help you do more damage and his Q, even if your E is active, his Q is meaningful. I thought if you couldn't do the reaction properly, then it would suck. But Albedo allows you to still do Melt, Vaporize, Superconduct, Overload, 
So my first impression on Albedo, although he cannot be used as a main DPS, he is a good support. After the geo buff for 1.3 patch, I believe the value for Albedo is going to be a little bit better. That's my first impression, and I'm going to try to push him to the limit in the future so that I can actually tell you if he really cannot be used as a DPS. But for some odd reason, he doesn't do enough damage for his Q, although he has a 500% something elemental burst damage. So I'll check that out later. Guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope this video helped you to think whether if you should be pulling for Albedo or not. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And comment something nice. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios.